Hey Leo, welcome to your February 2018. Who's my future partner reading? This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you. And a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you become a part of my community here on YouTube. Uh, so by popular demand, I've had a lot of requests to do uh, this type of spread. So I figured why not? Let's give it a shot and see what comes through. I will more than likely still offer my love and relationship readings. I may end up putting those on Vimeo. Mm, if that's the case, they will be pretty in depth uh, since it is Valentine's uh, month. So feel free to uh, support my channel by going over there for a small nominal fee. You can actually um, get your reading over there for love. I will definitely be uh, continuing to do the general readings, of course, as well moving forward. But I want to keep these short and sweet so I can, you know, give you guys more content um, throughout the month. So let's kind of jump in and see what's coming through the cards for you. Whew, I'm sorry, I've done um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and the messages are amazing. So I'm really glad to um, that I decided to do these readings. So, okay, so first card out of the gate, my lovely Leos, is what is this person going to be like? Ooh, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. You know, this could be another fire sign person like you and Aries, Leo, or Sag. Uh, this could just be the energy of definitely a new relationship coming in, um, maybe that you didn't expect or you've been hoping for or wanting for. This is definitely a tangible, solid new beginning in a relationship. The seeds have been planted. So this is beautiful. This is very nice out of the gate. It's not represented by a person, but it doesn't matter. It means that this is very early stages of that seed beginning to grow in a potential relationship. So that's really awesome. All right, second card, what do we got? How will you meet? Ooh, three of wands, interesting. So I feel this might be through some kind of business or enterprise. This is a um, wands card. It does speak to hard work and career and a major life event. Um, here you are, you know, you're looking out of the ocean and you're waiting for your ships to come in. So that's how you're going to meet this person. They're going to come into your life through some kind of work environment or career or mm, yeah, I would say definitely through uh, like your your day to day um, lifestyle, okay? Uh, if that makes sense. So let me see what else is coming through on this. Three of Wands. It also speaks to you being on the right path, you know, trusting yourself. I think that's really critical. You have to trust your ability to, you know, water the seed, you know, that you that you want this relationship. I feel like maybe some of you hmm, have been waiting a long time for somebody. Okay, so now this reading may not resonate with everybody, so please make sure you check out the moon and or rising signs as well. Okay, the third card, your first impression of this person. Interesting. You have the justice card, so this could be an air sign person, um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But being the justice card, I would say more than likely this could be a Libra person. This is a very fair and balanced person mm. karma i'm hearing karma this is a karmic well-balanced relationship look at the scales here i really feel like through some kind of karmic justice it's now your turn you've planted the seeds you've been waiting Ooh, very nice leo i love this You know, ju just, I would um, focus on your intentions. I don't know if you guys uh, follow me at all as far as the PDF that I offer for, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm having a moment here, senior moment, but setting your intentions, okay? Uh, looks like you've honestly already done it, so I'm really happy for you guys, but 
The message here with justice as well at times is what are your intentions? Okay, so good to, good, just good to know and keep that in the back of your mind. But again, this position, okay, is your first impression of them. And that's what's most critical here in the reading, that they're going to be a fair and honest person. Um, and that's great. That's actually a good uh, combination for you. Leo being um, a fire sign. All right, let's see what else we have coming in. Ooh, okay, so this card is about <clears throat> how will they affect you? Oops, sorry. So you're really going to be quite smitten. You know, this is another ace. You have two aces here. This is, again, a solid new beginning. Uh, a spark of a new relationship. You know, yes, it's the Wands card, so this can speak to about a new job, and the, but you know, the spread is about who's your future partner. So this also means a new relationship. So you're ready. This person's come into your life, and you're ready for a new relationship. This is about you being really attracted to somebody. Look at you, you're blooming. <laughs> I love it. Very nice, Leo. Okay, uh, the fourth, the fifth card is what kind of relationship will this be? <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. <clears throat> Ooh, interesting, the high priestess. Hmm. You know, uh, this is a very spiritual card. Um, you know, I feel like you definitely going to feel like you have some kind of soul connection with this person. But I also feel on some level you're going to keep your cards close to your chest, Leo, and that's okay. You know, I just don't be too secretive mm, on your feelings. I mean, yes, we all have to, you know, protect our best interests and it's hard in relationships sometimes until you really get to know somebody if, you know, it's legit, you know. Um, but I feel like you're smart here. You're listening to your own intuition, and she's here to tell you that's what you need to do, to connect to your higher self, uh, tap into your intuition. She's very mysterious. And I feel with justice here, since it is a karmic relationship, okay, that this is... Uh, going to be a very powerful relationship for you. Pay attention to your dreams and any insight coming in for you. But it's definitely love. Look at, these are pomegranates, but to me they look like hearts, you know, so sweet. Really cool reading, Leo. Let's see what else we have coming in. Let's, let's see here. So... Obstacles. Okay, I can't wait. I'm going to turn this one over too. Oh, Ten of Cups. Beautiful. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to jump ahead, but I'm all excited. Okay, the Magician. So here's your obstacle. This is somebody showing the world who they are. This is about living an authentic life. Uh, what's your sole purpose? Maybe moving to the real you, trusting yourself, um, taking that leap of faith. Okay, here you go. That's what it is. That's what this is all about. You're going to have to take a leap of faith here with this relationship because you're expanding your social circles or you need to. And this easier path, this door is opening for you on a huge karmic level, Leo. This is actually pretty heavy duty here. This is so far the most in-depth um, relationship uh, reading I've done so far today. There's a huge message here, okay, that... You've been in a cocoon, you know, you've been that caterpillar, and now you have to open your wings and spread your wings and become the butterfly. Don't be afraid of it. It's time to manifest what you want. Your ships are coming in. The seeds have been planted. You have justice and karma on your side. This is really amazing. I love this. And just because it's an obstacle doesn't mean that it's bad, but this is definitely something that you need to, to really uh, think about, you know. Maybe some of you have been really burnt in the past. But look at this. Look at this final outcome. The Ten of Cups. I mean, it can't get any better than that. This is, you know, complete fulfillment. 
<clears throat> having a family, <clears throat> harmonious relationships, everything coming full circle for you. Mm, I love this. Family, relationships, some of you could even be getting married, giving birth, having children. This is the happily ever after card. This is everything that you've been waiting for. You know, the Ten of Cups is, yeah, it's a happy card, and blah, 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 but it's that momentous moment, okay, that you've been waiting for. It's like, come on, baby. Get my ships in here. Get me my love. Get me my relationship. You deserve it. Ooh, very nice, Leo. Beautiful reading. Yeah, nobody, oops, nobody deserves it more than you do. Okay, so for some of you that where this doesn't re resonate, did I say go check out your moon and a rising? That's really, really important. Um, this message is definitely meant for somebody. I'm really happy for you guys. This is really super cool. Ten of Cups. Can't get any better than that. This is what you've been waiting for. Happily ever after. Fairy tales can come true. <laughs> It works out sometimes, right? Relationships are so hard, but whoever this person is coming in, whatever this movement is here, and I feel like part of it is um, almost beyond your control. So tap into that energy. See what's going on for you. Believe it. Have faith in it. Okay, don't give up on yourself. Okay, Leo, this is really, really awesome. I'm so happy for you. Okay, I'm going to keep these short. Like I mentioned, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like, share. Uh, would be wonderful as well. What else did I want to tell you? I think that's it for now. We'll see you for the general readings and all the best to you. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.